Hey, what is up everybody? It's your boy back with y'all. Currently, not at home. Currently, in a hotel. Now, what do I do when I am visiting people or at a convention for entertainment? I'm going to show y'all. Now, the one thing about hotel TVs is some hotels they lock out uh, for you being able to use the HDMI or the inputs so you can't hook up your video game consoles to your TV yeah it kind of sucks but if you're smart like me you know how to bypass that and uh, do it and I've done it before uh, especially at the hotel that I stay at in Arlington, uh, the Sheridan, there's a little box on the back of the uh, TV that is plugged in. That all you have to do is unplug the one of the wires. I can't remember which one it is. It's either a, a it's a data wire that runs from the box to the TV, or it's a, a Ethernet wire. You unplug that, and it gives you full control of the TV. That box literally locks you out of the TV. So always being in a room and doing these conventions or just traveling, you always got to have some kind of entertainment. And you're always probably wondering, oh, Damien, you're always doing something crazy. What do you do for entertainment when you're in your room at a convention or at one of the shows or just traveling? This is what I do when I go to back to the room from like Retropalooza. Uh, we usually all hang out or do something. But uh, game-wise, I'm going to show y'all. Now, this is my alternative right here. That is a 15.6-inch USB uh, HD 1080p monitor. It's made by uh, Games. That's my Switch. That's my pizza box over there. Yeah, I know, right? This is what I use. I need to play the Switch. I don't bring my PlayStation, it's too big and bulky. This monitor is really, really light. I mean, it, less, it weighs less than five pounds. Not even that, it's probably like two and a half. The Switch probably weighs more than the monitor. Yes, I have one, two Switch, Mario Odyssey, Fortnite, a couple other games on there. My other alternative, a RetroPie. Now this RetroPie, has a 64 gig image as you see 64 gig memory card right there um, this Pi is a Raspberry Pi 3B two USB dongles that go to my Afterglow controllers work really well these are PlayStation 3 controllers so you get the full range of motion do all that what's on the Pi because you can clearly see what's on the Wii and I haven't charged in a long time and that says 4% so I can't even do anything the Joy-Cons are actually dead so I'm stuck to playing the Pi now the room that I'm in I can actually hook up the Pi to the TV because they don't have that lockout system this will work on the TV so I just wait for that to charge move this to the bed when I lay down and place some switch but I have this for the TV 64 gig, gig image the games range from Atari all the way up to PlayStation 1 uh, what is it Atari all the Atari systems Sega Master System Sega Genesis Nintendo uh, Famicom Super Nintendo N64 uh, Neo Geo Arcade Game Boy Game Boy Color Game Boy Advance um, the Neo Geo Pockets, PSP, all that is on here. I can play PlayStation 1 games and even some Dreamcast games. So this is my setup. Yeah. So that's a real quick rundown of what I do when it comes to staying in hotels. 
I mean, play games, have some fun, hang out with friends. Hey, it is what it is at the end of the day. Enjoy what you do and always have some kind of forms of entertainment because being in this, these rooms, it can get kind of boring. So, you saw my setup. Let me know what you think down below. I bought the monitor really cheap at a pawn shop and well, y'all saw me pick up the switch. Uh, the Pi, you can pick these up at Target now. Uh, the controllers you can pick up at GameStop. And the micro USBs, you know where to get that. The images, if you want images for RetroPie, head on over to Arcade Punks. Just look it up in Google. I'm sure you'll find it. And there is a great selection of RetroPie pre-made images that you can download that have tons of games. This image right here has about 10,000 games on it ranging from Atari all the way to PlayStation 1. Hey, it is what it is. I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna lug around everything. I do have my Vita. I did forget it in the car while I just remembered right now. It's in the car. If you wanna see what's on my PlayStation Vita, comment down below. I'll do a Vita review of my Vita and what I have on it. It is hacked. It's got a oh, 64 gig memory card in it and tons of games on it, but that's another video. Hey, it is what it is. Till the next one, I hope you enjoyed this real quick video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe down below. Let me know what you think. Peace, y'all.